Hey you guys, so I'm sitting here deep conditioning my hair and I was like, I got some time on my hands, girl. You should be cleaning this room. My master bedroom is a hot mess. For some reason, this is probably the worst room in the house at all times. I have no idea why. It just is. So I'm going to actually deep clean this master bedroom. I'm going to deep clean the bathroom and everything that's in this room. Just look at the dresser behind me. I'm going to give you guys a glimpse of this entire room and you're going to see just how bad it really is because girl, we live here. Okay. So that's why the room is so bad. We live here. Here. we spend a lot of time up here and it gets like this sometimes I feel like I clean all day every day if anyone else feels like that give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below like if y'all feel like y'all clean all day like me I mean it gets bad so I'm gonna clean this entire room for you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you'd like to see more cleaning videos make sure you let me know down below as well and let me know which room you'd like to see me tackle next because I have a lot of areas in my house that need to be tackled, okay? So let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you guys the room and we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So seriously y'all, this is probably going to take me probably all day, like honestly. This is just an overview of the room. We still have a suitcase sitting here from when the kids went to my mom's house for a week when we went to Cancun, which was about a month ago. So that suitcase is still sitting there. That's one of the last remaining. There are clean clothes that need to be put away. There's dirty clothes on the floor. Look at that nightstand, girl. Mm-mm. The sheets need to be changed. I haven't even made the bed. Look at this. Don't get me started on this dresser right here. This one can never, ever stay clean. This corner over here, we have our suitcases from when we did go to Cancun, but we're keeping those out because we have another upcoming trip. So I'm just going to move those to another part of the house. I got a wig I was working on. This little end table, which I'm finally going to clean off and then get out of here because it just accumulates stuff. And then my side of the room, which looks a hot mess as well. So as you can see, there is a lot to be done. So let's get started. What's up y'all? So we are going to start this clean with me in the bedroom, just really picking up some of the stuff that's on the floor. I can't believe I let my room get this bad and I am so embarrassed, but I have found myself even after this, making sure that the room stays at least semi-decent because this was just ridiculous. I couldn't take it any longer. So I also needed to change the sheets, all the pillowcases. I had so many clothes to wash that were just on my floor. So many different baskets of clothes to put away. I mean, it was crazy. So that's what we're doing right here, just getting started. And if you guys like cleaning videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel if you love us, our family, and want to see more videos like this. And also leave us some video requests down below. We love to know what you guys want to see. corner is definitely the hardest for me it's just all of my junk and I never know what to do with all the stuff so I sit there and I contemplate life contemplate where everything's gonna go and it seems to take me forever to get that corner fixed but like I told you guys we do have a lot of laundry to do so I went ahead and did my laundry and I used my dryer balls which I love and I got from Grove Collaborative it just makes the clothes smell so good when they come out of the dryer but here I am just washing the clothes and back to the room. 
I was also in the middle of washing my hair. So you'll see my hair change. I have scarf on. You'll see all that change a couple of times in this video. But there was just so much to do. And I didn't realize how massive this room was and all the mess that was in this room didn't realize how massive that was until I started cleaning and I was like whoa this is literally going to take me all day and it literally took me all day I think I spent about five hours deep cleaning this room if I could go back Time to start changing the sheets and what I've been doing is using this fresh in a flash by I think I got this from Bath and Body Works and it's supposed to be for your yoga mat you're supposed to put it in your gym bag and you know spray it on your equipment so it doesn't smell up the bag or smell but it smells so good so I love putting it on our bed like on the mattress pad that I have right there so it just keeps our bed smelling super fresh so I spray it underneath the sheets on the mattress pad and then I also spray it on top of the sheets after I get all the sheets on and like I said the bed just smells so fresh and that radiates to the entire room and just leaves my room smelling really good. Right, you guys now let's move into this bathroom this is how my bathroom looks and I just washed my hair today so y'all the mess is real as you can see there's hair all over the floor there's hair all over the sink the sink is just dirty and streaky hey y'all and it just looks awful right now the shower no better I wash my hair so there is hair all in the shower normally I would clean it out like as soon as I'm done but I didn't have time so I didn't and then here is the toilet area nothing too wrong with that Starting this process off by clearing off the entire counter and then doing the mirror. I am using the 7th generation spray along with paper towels and it works so well on the mirror. My mirror is streak free and that's probably one of the best glass cleaners that I've found. I'm also using this Mrs. Meyer surface scrub and scrubbing out the sinks. Our sinks were so dirty just with all the masks we use and the hair products that I use and my husband he's been getting into his skincare lately so there's just stuff everywhere and the sinks just needed a really good deep clean along with the cabinets. I ended up using just water for the cabinets and it wiped them down really really well.
So something I've been doing lately is when it comes to the actual surface of the toilet, like the outside, I will go ahead and wipe that with a rag and some disinfectant spray. That day I was using that Windex disinfectant, but then when it actually gets to the toilet seats, I use just some disinfecting wipes. And I find that these are just more sanitary. I mean, the rags, of course I wash them after every use, but I just like using the disinfecting wipes on the toilet seats. It just makes me feel better that I'm not wiping that down with a rag and then reusing it so I use the wipes I also go in in the middle of the week and use the wipes as well in case the toilet or the sinks or the tub or anything like that need a wipe down I go ahead and use those wipes in the middle of the week just they're nice and disposable you can throw them out so it just makes it super easy and this is it. This is the final look of the room and the bathroom. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you a little cleaning motivation to get up and start cleaning your house if it needs it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your love, for your support of our channel. Again, don't forget to like, thumbs up this video and also subscribe and share our videos with a friend if you feel so compelled. Love you guys and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.